The parent diels aldo reaction of butadiene with ethylene tends to be very slow. The way chemists remedy this problem is by attaching substituents to the diene and dienophile in order to make the reaction go faster. But what's the origin of the rate enhancement effect of adding a substituent to the diene or dienophile? First, let's take a look at this question in qualitative terms, looking at resonance structures, if electron donating or withdrawing groups are added to the substrates. And really, it's all about polarizing the substrates to make them more nucleophile-like or electrophile-like. So for instance, if we take ethylene and we add to it an electron donating group, let's just say a generic electron donating group D with a lone pair that can be donated. If we draw a resonance structure of this compound, what we can see is that the alkene portion of the molecule has been made much more nucleophilic. The presence of this negative charge on the terminal end of the alkene makes this a very reactive alkene and a very nucleophilic alkene at that. On the other hand, if we append an electron withdrawing group to the alkene, let's say one with an empty orbital that can accept electrons, then we can think about resonance structures in which we push electrons towards the withdrawing group and now the terminal end of the double bond has been made much more electrophilic by this positive charge present on the end of the alkene. This polarization effect of electron withdrawing and donating substituents has a strong effect on reaction rate because it raises or lowers the energy of the frontier molecular orbitals on that substrate, allowing for a better match with the other reacting partner. This slide shows the idea in terms of molecular orbital diagrams. So in the middle here you see the parent situation, the reaction between butadiene and ethylene, and notice that both interactions, the homo of the diene and the lumo of the dienophile, and vice versa, have just about the same energy. If we add an electron withdrawing or donating substituent to one of the partners, such as the dienophile, then we drastically change the orbital energies on that reacting partner. And so we can bias one of the interactions to be much more favorable. So for instance, in the left-hand case, where we've added an electron withdrawing group to the dienophile, the LUMO is substantially lowered relative to the parent situation. And the important interaction, the one with the smallest energy gap, is the one between the HOMO on the diene and the LUMO on the dienophile. On the other hand, if we append an electron donating group to the dienophile, this raises the energy of the HOMO substantially. And now, the most important interaction is the one between the LUMO on the diene and the HOMO on the dienophile. Anytime you're asked to draw the product of a diels alder reaction, you always want to make sure you identify the correct frontier orbital interaction between the reacting partners. So for instance, in this reaction between an electron-rich diene and an electron-poor dienophile, we would expect the important interaction, or the major interaction, to be the one between the HOMO, the occupied orbital on the diene, and the LUMO, the unoccupied orbital on the dienophile. The two atoms on the reacting partners with the largest orbital coefficients will be the ones that combine and determine the regiochemistry. There are two ways to identify the atoms with the largest orbital coefficients. One way is simply by looking at the molecular orbitals. In doing that, we can see here that it's the terminal carbons of both the diene and the dienophile that have the largest orbital coefficients. Combining these two orbitals together to form a chemical bond, we see that the substituents end up in a 1-2 relationship in the final product. Alternatively, you can consider resonance structures of the diene and dienophile and look for the atoms that are the most positive for the LUMO and most negative for the HOMO, and these will tell you the atoms with the largest orbital coefficients as well.